three, two, one. Listen, we did our updates MMT and it's pre-market and we're going to give our pre-market update analysis to the people, to the big guys here that are listening on the other system. Teletype it back. Okay, so you can hear. And MMTs and free trial people. What we are going to be taking a look at, this is a three minute chart of the VIX that equals a fear indicator and how we had put that bottom in right to that teeny line. And I mean right to the teeny, right to the penny. And for the new people that sitting in the trial, MMTs, these lines are priced before the market even opened today. Yeah. Okay. And that the system in here is what does it. And there's lots of things that are, this is a stock exchange that SMF has its own stock market exchange tape. We are experts in the field of back-end pricing control management systems on exchanges, rather U.S. exchange or worldwide exchanges does not matter. Does not matter. Because what we do is a market maker is something totally different. So the futures right now are a little bit flat. The Dow is only down 12. They were down 40. What's going to happen is that there isn't a lot of economic data that's coming out today, let alone this week, other than you're going to have at any time either a big sell off in the market. Because let me tell you something. When I did these indexes for everyone over the weekend, they're on the homepage of stockmarketfunding.com website. There's a daily chart there, and Brian Plain is updating a link so that you can click and go to see the next one, which is that weekly chart that we did on all of the indexes. And what we're going to be monitoring is where does the market hold the price action above half of the previous bar and that means that the Friday's closing bar half of that bar which will be in the platform because it, it'll tell us and what we're going to see is that if the fear indicator comes down to half of this bar and it doesn't break it and starts to consolidate and start to break higher that means that we're going to be shorting the bull so for the MMTs if you haven't got shares available you better submit it right now so that you can have your share shortable that includes the people on the other system so basically what's going to happen here is if this is going to get strong I want everyone to know that it sold off that's when equities uh, break higher. And when this breaks higher, equities sell off. So just to give you an example, once again, on the TQQQ, that's the bull. And we have special permissions to sell it short because we can get the shares. You go try to get them. So what we're going to be doing is that if this is going to break higher and this comes up hits in resistance and this is going to break higher that means that this is going to go down in value okay and the back half of this one is the SQQQ that's the bear right here here let me find another market minder let's put it in right here so you can see what we're talking about and the way it's going to trade now the bear is both the SQQQ and the TQQQ are related to, it's related to this right here. It's called NASDAQ 100. This is a three-minute chart. And all of these lines today, a 16th in our pricing control system is a dollar four, because that's what it is. Okay? So basically that means that each one of these lines are a dollar four. Now if just on the other hand let's go back to let's say the VIX okay actually I'll tell you what MMTs I'll pull up the VXN which is the back half of this bear and bull in the front half and everything else that goes with it uh, here is a three minute chart on the VXN and I have it all right here whoops I'm sorry the thing that I want to focus on with you is NASDAQ 100 and naturally this VXN um, the thing that we're going to focus on, and it's in the live video here, is if this breaks higher, this is going to go down. 
if that occurs, that means that I'm going to be shorting the bull that I had. These ones right here. This is the bear and the bull that's related specifically to the VXN and NASDAQ 100. The NASDAQ 100 is heavily loaded. 20% of that movement in that bull is going to come from the Apple trade. So if Apple is strong and equities pull back to your mathematical ratio calculations and those ratios hold in your brain, in your trading platform, then you know what side of the market to be on. Because one ratio is going to go down and the other ratio is going to go up. So I'm going to short the ratio that goes down. And I'm going to be long the ratio that goes up. I get paid twice. Ha, ha, ha. So what we're going to measure today is, is that there's a lot of news. There's no economic news. We're going to find out exactly where that momentum is. If that VIX and that VXN, this VXN is breaking higher, then this NASDAQ 100 right here is going down. And that means that that bull goes down. Bill, you'll be shorting that bull when that time comes. Bottom line. The bear does not move much. But when the bear bottoms out and the bull tops out, so I buy the bottom on the bear and I short the top of that bull. I got two trades working at one time. I could throw in another five to go with it. But that's not what we're doing in pre-market. So the opening bell is going to be in five minutes. And basically, we're going to find out where those price action controls are going to be held or not. That means that whoever is having the transaction at the time on the Wall Street tape, it'll be very evident in our SMF platform. So basically, we're going to look to see the momentum, price momentum, price. So do we have a strong intraday? Um, and what are the market makers doing? Um, left elbow, right elbow, top of the resistance, resistance at teeny fade back in price, teeny made long, teeny made short. That's the way it's going to be. So basically, it's going to be kind of flat. We're kind of gapping up. There's no news economically that's going to derail anything this week. And a lot of times in the first half, we had lots of buying December 1st, 2nd, third we consolidated this is the fourth day we look for five up days to really frustrate the bear the bear gets frustrated and keeps covering but they don't have no big grounds to cover that tax cut and all of that controversy that's going on right now on 12 6 2010 at 6 26 a.m moving into the market will be the major overhang 12 30 you don't break up if you come up to 12 30 on the s p and you can't get above 12.30, shorting the S&P. That means a bear S&P ETF is viable. Not only that, I will be buying put options on the S&P index. If I can't break above 12.30, that's where the Lehman collapse was back in the financial crisis. That's the overhead resistance on that S&P 500. And I did those live analysis for all of the MMTs listening on the other system and the current people here right now. Now say I've been given the glory and that's exactly the price action momentum between bear and bull, which equals the public transaction behavior and the platform will do its work for you. So that way, wherever the public's engaging, your job is to take their money.